Hello everyone. Welcome to Tiwi World channel. In today's video, we will know and learn how to anoint our home. If you want to anoint your home and you do not know how to go about it, then this video is for you. Sometimes we experience strange evil happenings in our homes that we do not seem to understand. If you are going through such then this video is for you. I encourage you to watch till the end, because your home will never remain the same after watching. Please, subscribe, like, comment, and share. God bless you. This is what I have been going through for a while pastor. Lack of sleep, unexplainable insomnia, strange movements and strange sounds in the house, feeling that somebody is following me like I am been monitored in the house when I am alone, unnecessary fear in the house, consistent nightmares, objects getting bad in the house for no reason. I am tired of this kind of life. Wow! Have you prayed about it? I lost my prayer life, I can't remember the last time I prayed. I am just weak in prayers which is unlike me. With everything you have said, your house needs to be anointed. Sometimes we need to take charge of our homes by anointing every object both living and non-living. When you see people in a house falling sick one after the other, then that home must be sanctified. When you see people fight unnecessarily in the house or argue a lot then, that home needs to be anointed. When you always dream and see things to come or things that are about to happen, suddenly, you realize you don't have dreams anymore, you don't see visions anymore. Anytime you are at home, your spiritual eyes seem to be blind then your home needs to be anointed. Exodus chapter 40 verse 9 And thou shalt take the anointing oil, and anoint the tabernacle, and all that is therein, and shalt hallow it, and all the vessels thereof, and it shall be holy. Exodus chapter 40 verse 10 And thou shalt anoint the altar of the burnt offering, and all his vessels, and sanctify the altar, and it shall be an altar most holy. Exodus chapter 40 verse 11 And thou shalt anoint the laver and his foot, and sanctify it. Do you see how God gave instructions about anointing? When you anointing with oil in the name of the Lord it symbolizes blessing, stability, sanctifying, setting apart, purifying, and also you are putting a covering over that which you are anointing. You are also taking out the hand of the wicked, and the mark of the wicked when you anoint. Thank you so much for this inside pastor. I think something is wrong with my home, and I need to anoint my home. What will I do, pastor? How am I going to go about anointing my home? My house needs to be anointed. Firstly, we will go through a series of prayers in your home, and we will take it up from there. Do you mean we will have to go to my house? Yes! We will start a three days fasting and prayer tomorrow to clear out everything that is not of God in your home. Do we have to fast, pastor? Fasting makes us spiritually inclined to the spiritual realm, and also we receive empowerment when we fast and pray. Remember the disciples tried to cast out demons but they could not. Matthew chapter 17 verse 21 Hope eat this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. We don't just carry oil and pour, anointing your home is a spiritual exercise. We are going to cast and bind. Things will happen if we do not fast and pray before we start the anointing. Hum. I get it now. On the third day of your fast, I will assign one of the prayer team members to you. She will join you in praying for the house, and I will be in my office praying. There is no distance in the realm of the spirit. It is fine by me, Pastor. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Good afternoon, sis. Good afternoon, Sister Esther. Thank you for coming, Sister Esther. You are welcome. Let us go inside. All right. I want you to take this fasting and prayer seriously. No anointing can be done without fasting and prayer. I am ready to pray and I have been praying and fasting. Very good. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and glorify your holy name, because we know that whenever we call you answer us. Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 But he answered and said, Every plant, which my heavenly Father hath not planted, shall be rooted up. Whatever is in this home that the Lord has not planted, we root them out by the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Psalm 18 verse 44 As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me, 
the strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as you hear from me, you must obey. Every stranger, an evil spirit, represented in this house, I command you to subdue. Amen. Amen. Psalm chapter 18 verse 45 The strangers shall fade away, and be afraid out of their close places. I command every evil stranger to come out of their hiding place in this house and I send you back to where you came from in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Psalm 91 verse 10 There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. No evil shall befall this home, neither shall any plague come near this tent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We declare the shield of safety against wickedness or any form of spiritual attack against this home in Jesus' name. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 8 Then I will encamp in my house as a guard, so that none shall march to and fro. No oppressor shall again march over them, for now, I see with my own eyes. We pray that no oppressor shall dominate this home and no oppressor shall come near this dwelling in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. James chapter 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. We resist every work of the devil in this house in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 Casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. We cast down every evil imagination and every high, exalting itself above the knowledge of Christ in this home and we bring them down to the obedience of Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. We blot out every evil handwriting on this and evil ordinances on this home by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 18 And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation, and in sure dwellings, and in quiet resting places, you will dwell in safety in this home, I declare the peace of the Lord in this home, and this dwelling a resting abode in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 And it shall come to pass in that day, that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. We command every yoke be destroyed by the reason of the anointing of Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can bless the oil. I can't bless it. Why? I don't have the power. Come on. Remember what the Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 12 But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. As long as you are a believer, you can pray and anoint your house. I will bless the oil and you will also bless the oil. It's fine. I bless the oil in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon this oil. Let it sanctify, purify, Root out, cleanse, bless, save, prosper, increase, glory and deliver in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I bless this oil in the name of the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The next thing is to take the oil and anoint your entrance and everywhere in the house. As you anoint, you make declarations of what you want to see happen in your home. Anoint everything you use, cars, working tools, and all other stuff. Make sure you are declaring as you anoint, that is the most important. The oil is just a point of contact. Thank you so much Sister Esther. I will do as you have instructed. Flora did as she was instructed by Sister Esther. After she has anointed everywhere, all the evil manifestations stop and things start to work out for her good.